Hey everybody, this is day two of oil camp and we're talking about peppermint. And we're gonna do a quick do it yourself um, with a peppermint cooling spray. This can alternately be used um, to ward off spiders, ants. Um, this can be used to be like a soothing spray to the skin or a refreshing spray or an oral spray. So this one is multi-use um, do it yourself. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our peppermint essential oil, we're gonna take our spray bottle, and you could use one that's like smaller, uh, a five milliliter, and that makes it easy to carry in purse for your mouth, however you're gonna use it. Um, but this one's a little bit larger, um, blinking at how many ounces it is, but um, it's definitely a little bit larger. So you're gonna do three to five drops per five milliliters. So if yours is smaller, you know, um, go with three to five drops. But I'm gonna do 20 to 30 in this one. And so you just, this already has the water I want in it. So um, it's recommended to use distilled or purified water. And so this is what I have ready to go. Um, I use cool water so that we don't take away any of the um, chemical properties of the essential oils. Um, that are gonna do amazing things for our bodies. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna put the drops in. So it comes out fast. All right, that was 20. And then we're just gonna take our tots. And I like to shake it up a little bit, get it all condensed. And you can start using it however you want to. So that's one way we can use it. I missed the first time, but hope you guys enjoy this. You can use this as like a refreshing spray, oral spray, um, fresh breast spray. Uh, you can use this to ward off again spiders and ants and things like that in the house. Um, lots of uses cooling spray after sun spray. Lots of fun things you could use with this. Um, let me know how you're going to use it. Hope you enjoyed this. Do it yourself with peppermint essential oil.